Well, the time has come to put the Pixie Cam back together. As you can see, I've got the main video card removed and the potentiometers removed from the card as well as the horizontal frequency coil. So, the first step that I will do today is to spray clean the potentiometers with some uh, electronics cleaner I purchased recently and then reinstall them on the circuit board reinstall the the horizontal frequency coil and then reconnect all of the wires on the pixie cam chassis to the bottom of the circuit board you see here I took a lot of photographs of the bottom of the board and the wires and using that information I was able to produce these worksheets which I could fill in myself showing where the wires connected and this is what I'll use today. To remove the circuit board I had to disconnect 14 wires that go to various locations under the chassis. I uh, took plenty of photographs and created a hand-drawn wiring chart printed on one of my homemade worksheets. I took a photograph of the circuit board and traced it out in paint shop and then printed printed these worksheets and I can keep my notes on it for instance where all of the wires connect. This is the physical relationship of where the controls go on the circuit board as well as the uh, horizontal frequency control coil is installed on the right side standing upright in the middle of the board. The first soldering task will be to reinstall this horizontal ringing coil as Al Denson referred to it. It is located, oh, located right here on the circuit board. Well, it's soldered in. Well, I cleaned the controls with the spray cleaner I purchased. You can see how wet and shiny it looks. Apparently the entire thing is coated in silicone lubricant. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the resoldering. But I've vigorously wiped the, the rotors back and forth. I did all this outdoors. So let's put them back in if we can. Now to fix that, to fix this broken tab, I'm going to use some wire. There's a bit of a, it goes like that. Perfect.
There. All I really want is mechanical support. There. You can see how I looped the wire over the broken off bottom of that pin. There we go. We will let that cool off for a bit. Well, for what it's worth, these two capacitors were located right here and right here on the board. I'm going to replace them now, and it took me a while to stop laughing, but this is the original 1960 capacitor, and this is the modern replacement of exactly the same value. This is a 50 microfarad at 25. This is a 47 microfarad at 25 volts. <laughs> They're going to go here and here and down here. <laughs> All right, this will be the first wire to attach to the board. It is the ground wire. All right, white and orange is attached. That heat bridge. This wire comes from the vertical blocking oscillator transformer and it goes right here. Violet wire is attached. big fat orange wires reconnected. The little skinny black wires connected. There's another violet wire. Oh, come on. Try it again. There you go. 
once there's enough solder it should stick Another vertical blocking oscillator connection. Ow! And then the white and gray attaches to the one next to it. So let's see, this as I recall worked out to be B minus, I believe. We'll find out. We'll figure out what that wire is and then we'll attach it. Alright, I've figured out where it goes. It goes to the high end connection of the two, the height and the width pots over on this end of the board. It's B plus coming from the power supply and the old wire is just too darn short. There's no reason for it being that short so I'm going to replace it with a brand new Teflon insulated modern 21st century wire and be done with the whole problem. There we go. I don't know if you can see down there or not. Probably not. But I'm going to attach this wire there, there's two wires soldered to the trace and I don't want to get too close to the other one and cause it to unsolder. There we go. Eh. Hot. Probably around 650 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. And it's going to go over to the side of this board here. So let's pull out the old wire, which is right here. Let's throw it in the trash. Now, I'm going to bring this boy under all the other wires because I'm, I'm fastidious about dressing wires. They shouldn't cross over each other if unnecessary. So now, allowing a little bit of play, we bring that to there. It is done. Now, Everything on this board is reconnected. I have to locate the screws and mash the wires down a bit. But it has been restored with these two capacitors being hilariously funny. The old one, the new one. So far, these are the parts I've replaced in the cameras. At this point, the restoration of the video board is complete. And now we will go from this phase of restoration into circuit testing coming next. Stay tuned.